I started painting swimmers, I started from a, a picture of my mom and me when I was a baby in the lake. And there was these reflections in the green water and it was very natural. There was trees, it was in the Northwoods in Minnesota. And when I first started painting the underwater scenes, I was my model. I still carry that into the work now, but I usually use my friends. It's important for me to know the person that I'm working with, to kind of know what their expressions read and what they're probably feeling at the time and to put that into the work. I mean, they're all basically self-portraits in a way. I mean, this is, these are my thoughts and this is what I want to say. The pools I use to shoot my photography in, I go all around the country and I recently went to Mexico and worked in some of the cenotes and some of the work in the lagoons, just deep green, blue, aqua. The, the colors are so amazing. I'd like to let people see what they need to see. And the light, the, the light reflecting and the patterns and the bubbles, it obscures the face and it obscures the identity. It sort of de-individualizes the person. I love being able to meet people and hear what they have to say and how the work affected them and it's sometimes it can be overwhelming for me and I've heard a lot of stories and but it's nice to be able to take that back with me. The thing about my work is so many people can put themselves into it or their family members or somebody they know. It's always nice to see the work all up together too. It's always such a different experience than just seeing one piece and this, this space is just gorgeous. I mean, you really couldn't ask for better light, for better placement. It's, it's really beautiful.